Uh, before we begin, I want to show you where the uh, oil filter um, housing is. It'll be this right here. You're going to have three bolts. It'll be this one. And then two on the back, which is kind of hard to show on the, on the video. But I will show you once I get everything removed. First thing you have to do is unplug these sensors for the VTEC solenoid, oil pressure, and things like that. So just press on, just push on the tab and then pull it apart and that will release the clips. So I took a little bit of a wiggling trying to take this off. Um, just be careful that the uh, there's going to be three bolts. These ones would be the same size length and this one's going to be a long bolt. So just make sure you don't mix everything up. Um, we'll go ahead and take off the old gasket. Um, it's kind of crusty and old. It's pretty hard. Um, what I found is easy to take off was if you put it a little pick right here, you can get that out and just kind of pull everything out so we can clean the mating surface. Once you get that thing out, we'll move on to the next step. Now that we got the old gasket off for the main um, main oil filter housing, we're going to take off two 10 mils and then we're going to release this uh, oil pressure sending unit. Um, the kit did come with all that seal so might as well since we're already here. Like I said, just pop these two 10s and then I can't remember what size this is but I think it's a 19. I will double check once I get to it. But yeah, 10 mil, pop that off. Now that you got the other seal off, this is a number 22, so yeah, just a little tight, but it does come off pretty easy once you break it off, so let's go ahead and take that off. That's going to get a new seal as well, a little orange thing right there. So when I do these kind of seals, um, just use a little scotch bright and just kind of scotch bright around the mating surface of the block. I do the same thing for the... Um, solenoid and the pressure sensor, but kind of do it on here too. And don't spray any brake cleaner inside, um, just spray a wipe, wipe it off, and then start putting everything back together. Uh, for this process, some people like to do it different ways. Um, I like to lay them all out um, and just kind of dribble a little bit of oil, that way it's not dry surface mating. So just get a little bit of oil kind of rub it on the seal that way you have some kind of lubrication and it's not rubbing on any aluminum and because you can actually break this apart if it's not lubricated or if it catches so yeah just go ahead do a little bit of oil on it and then you should be all set put it back together in revert reverse form so I got the new seal in there uh, it's just a drop-in seal um, just make sure you don't over tighten it and break it. I so far have the um, housing gasket on with the filter in there. So just go ahead and tighten everything. Don't go too crazy on the tightening. Like I said, that is a rubber seal. So you can easily crack that or twist it. So, yeah. And we'll put the VTEC solenoid and we will be done, ready to put it back. So I got everything reassembled. Um, like I said, lubricated a little bit. Um, I went ahead and put, dabbed a little bit of oil on the bolts and it's ready to go back in. So here's the orientation for the bolts. As you can see, this one's longer than the other. So just make sure you put it on the right spot and you won't have any issues. So I got everything back in. You can see everything is in there. Just go ahead and plug everything back in and make sure you have no leaks. So hopefully this guys help you out a little bit. So if you are having a leak right around the passenger side, that will be the first one I would check. Um, all the J series that I've ever owned, it pretty much leaked from there. So 10 bucks worth of seals should take care of the issue. Um, if you have the actual TL, um, you won't have any issues with clearance, but as you can see, mine is in a swap um, shell, so the space is a lot tighter than normal. So I had to figure out different swivels and 
right angles and things like that to get through the bolts. But overall, it wasn't too bad. Probably about 10 minutes worth of work. Everything is done.